Hi everyone, my name is Hugo Leo and I'm from Grade 11, Espera Lipo Village. So, um, this was part of my personal project last year, um, the, when I was in Grade 10. And so, I initiated it because I was um, quite interested in urban design and I'm still very interested in it. It started with um, visiting Chicago last year and I basically saw, um, found that I have this unexplainable interest to looking at skyscrapers and buildings. And so um, after that, I went to the uh, Architectural Museum of Chicago and then I saw this, the city plan of Chicago. And at that moment, I thought to myself, when can Jakarta be like this? And so um, when, I, when I went back, actually, I wanted to create a 3D design of the entire city of Jakarta. But then one of my teachers, Ibu, Jess, Ibu Jessica, she advised me um, to focus on Kota Tua. And she suggested me that name, but I didn't really know why. And so um, the first time I visited Kota Tua, I saw the situation as it, as it, as it is. Um, I, I think like most students, we only visit Kota Tua um, when we have school excursions and field trips. But when I actually went there, I saw how the, the buildings were actually really be beautifully designed and there's a lot of um, facilities that um, the, the public can enjoy. But then we could do so much better. When I went into one of the buildings in Kota Tua, um, the, the Bang Bumi Daya, when I went inside, there was almost nothing. And most of, I learned that 60% of the, um, almost all of the buildings are not used. Um, and so I, I wanted to take a stand and do something about this. And so this, um, this design, SketchUp design, is actually my, my dreams and ideas for Kota Tua. Well, before creating the design, I had to plan and interview a lot of um, architects and experts. That took me about four months, five months. Um, to create the design, it took me about three months. And I had to spend maybe 30 minutes each day doing um, small progress in terms of the design, making new buildings, making new roads. And um, after that, since, since then, in 2017, I started the Kota Tua project. So basically, the Kota Tua project is the action phase of this design. Um, we have a great team of um, five people, that, uh, and we meet, and we meet um, weekly. Um, and we also collaborate with the consortium of Kota Tua, which was a um, government mandate created by Jokowi when he was the governor in 2013. And so together with the consortium, we plan events, we um, make, for example, an, the Instagram competitions, um, and last two weeks on Sunday, we had a repainting event in, the, in Kota Tua. Um, we, we like to think of ourselves as a think tank, but also we, we, we also want to bridge the government and what the government is doing with um, the youth. After I did several surveys, I realized that most of the facilities in Kota Tua is banks, 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 and no, no parks, no restaurants, not much hotels. Well, I realized that um, in other cities like Malacca in Malaysia, most of the buildings are consumer oriented. And what I mean by that is um, left and right, you can see cafes that are, um, that are friendly to tourists and visitors, restaurants, hotels, and you can rarely see banks and you can see a lot of good museums as well. People um, ask me, oh, why, why are you changing the face of Kota Tua? Why are you making these um, historical buildings suddenly into hotels and restaurants? But I think that we are not actually changing the identity of Kota Tua. I think that um, we are actually making Kota Tua more uh, friendly to, to the public. Because actually, um, like for example, one of these museums, the Bang Bumi Daya, um, if, you, if you go inside, and I, ha I have pictures, um, but basically when I visited inside, most of the area was, um, was not used. Um, there was a placard that says bank, uh, Chartered Bank and it's about 100-200 years old but anyone can step on it, anyone can touch on touch it. If it was for example in Malacca or Singapore, um, I could imagine that the government would have um, developed it into already a museum. And so, and it's funny that the, the group that I met in Kota Tua, in that, in that building was um, not tourists but a crew, film crew shooting a um, horror movie and so it was, the, the, the condition was um, really bad but the history inside 
um, was was actually really really awesome. Um, and I also talked to Pak Hiramsha from the uh, Menteri of Pari, uh, Pariwisata. He also talked about how um, Kota Tua is actually wanting to catch up so that we can be a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the next year. How do we become a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Well, we have to um, really be. Um, we have to fulfill the condition requirements of UNESCO. And how do we do that? Um, we obviously can't do that when most of the buildings in Kota Tua is locked up and not open to the public. So how do we open the buildings up to the public? We have to give the incentive to the to the businesses who owns the buildings to actually open it up. So by making it into a hotels and cafe, then more and more businesses will have the incentive to open up to the public and take care of the buildings. Um, and then after that, I believe that um, once we do this, we can make, uh, we can show off Kota Tua to the rest of the world as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and we can, um, our history really can be um, shown through through this work. I think that the biggest challenge that we face is the fact that we're still students, and a lot of people, uh, like for example, the consortium. Um, the consortium is a uh, a really really good group. And they, they helped us a lot, they supported us a lot. They, they told us that it's rare for young people to be interested in Kota Tua. We're the first young group that has been active in Kota Tua um, in, in Jakarta. And sometimes it, it's, it's, it's hard because our, our work is not, it's not like normal CSR uh, community service work. It's actually dealing with the government, dealing with the, the private sector, the public sector, and the people's, local people's opinions. And sometimes I feel bad because um, I, my, my ideas, I don't know if it's, if it's the best ideas, but um, whenever I talk to, I always try to talk to the locals. Um, and I always hear from the, the perspective of the locals, the public sector, sector and the government sector. But sometimes um, we, we, also, we also get challenged because everyone has different opinions about how Kota Tua should be developed. But I think that that's the, that's the special thing about this project. This project is not just our ideas, but we take into account, we, we, we hold the, um, monthly excursions to Kota Tua, where our team surveys, does conduct surveys with the locals, um, asking the locals, how, how would you like Kota Tua to be 10, 20 years after this? Um, and, but but yes, yeah, sometimes still, our ideas are not as valued just because we're students. But I feel that, um, once we show that even students care about Kota Tua, then more people will, will start to care about Kota Tua. More people will visit Kota Tua and appreciate Kota Tua's value as a historical uh, world-class city. Uh, Kota Tua is uh, heading into the right direction and I do believe that this is possible. Um, this is possible because our, of the work of the consortium, because of the work of students like us, um, and also the work of the government who is now more and more paying attention of Kota Tua because of his historical value and not just the sections of Jakarta that um, brings a lot of economic opportunity because um, I think that Kota Tua's val economic value is hidden. Um, we cannot measure um, the economic benefits of Kota Tua as easily as the economic benefits of Sudirman or, um, or the, 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 the central areas of Jakarta. But really, um, appreciation of history and culture is something that is much more valuable than money. That's why the government um, is now starting to uh, really realize that, hey, um, the consortium, these students, um, they are really appreciating the work of Kota Tua and we should too. Um, I think that we're, we, we play a big part in terms of um, helping out the government and also um, the government is also uh, really um, helping us with what we do.